All right, what's up guys? It's Troy back with another video, uh, another review actually. So this is something that Travis and I are gonna kinda throw in the mix here and that's reviewing workout programs. So workout programs you can find or buy online um, from social media influencers or fitness influencers and uh, ones that we have some experience in or that at least you know, we're uh, familiar with. So if you have any workout programs that you want us to kind of look at or even try out or that you think we may have tried out, feel free to shoot in our way. We'll be happy to make a video about it and kind of give our insight on it. Uh, so I'm gonna start here with the, the Daily Pump. This is Julian Smith's bodybuilding program. Uh, you're probably, if you're familiar with us, you're, you're probably familiar with Julian Smith. He's a fitness influencer, one of the bigger ones these days. Very bodybuilding focused. Um, me, Travis and I actually met him. He's a, he's a nice guy. I mean, I'm, not, I'm gonna try and give a, uh, a neutral, uh, objective perspective on this. But uh, we haven't met him, he's a nice guy. And I've been doing this program on and off for the last probably 18 to 20 months. Uh, mostly on, I mean, when I, whenever I'm in a bodybuilding phase, I tend to resort to this and I'll kind of get into why. But uh, yeah, I'm going to start here just because I have the most experience with this program specifically and following it closely. So I'm going to kind of jump back between the, the pros and cons here and kind of lay it out for you guys if you were looking for a bodybuilding program or even this program in particular. So uh, just jumping in here, the first pro, I'm going to kind of go back and forth. The first pro is going to be it's beginner friendly. So the, the basis for the program is basically it's definitely bodybuilding focused so i do want to say that if strength or power or explosiveness or being an overall better i guess athlete especially if you're playing a sport uh, this is not going to be the most ideal um, program for that it's definitely bodybuilding mind muscle connection hypertrophy focus tearing down muscle fibers things like that so um, keep that in mind before you get into this program or anything like that uh, but in the, the way that it is beginner friendly is that it very much teaches mind muscle connection uh, it teaches proper form. It teaches people to slow down. He does a lot of tempo work, so a lot of slow, full, entire movements. And that can be really beneficial for beginners who are just getting into some of these compound exercises and things like that. So if you don't have a, so say you don't have a very good squat or you're kind of just getting into squatting, he does a lot of variations of squatting that can really be beneficial to you. So for, for training that mind-muscle connection and getting better at some of these uh, important movements uh, that can really pay dividends in the future. If you get to a point where you're, um, you have a better mind-muscle connection, you can tear down those muscle fibers and slow down and take your time and go through full range of motion, that can be very much beneficial. So uh, in that sense, I think it's, it's very good for beginners. And now, before you think I'm an idiot, I meant to write this, in some ways it's not beginner friendly. Um, and the reason I say that is because some of the exercises that he prescribes, and take this a little bit with a grain of salt, because you, with any program you can replace or scale exercises. But some of the exercises he does prescribe, I would consider advanced movements like a plats hack squat or a stiff legged <laughs> rack pull rdl you know making a mess over here um some of these exercises that he does prescribe i would consider a more advanced movement so in that sense it's not beginner friendly um i wouldn't throw a beginner into some of the exercises that he does prescribe but like i said with any program there's going to be movements that you're not comfortable with or that don't feel great for you or potentially you know um, you're worried about injury, things like that. So that's always going to be the case. It's kind of unavoidable, but I would say, uh, you know, 90% of it is very doable, but there's a good chunk of it that I would definitely not consider beginner friendly movements. So, so just, just keep that in mind. Um, but it is a good way, like jumping back to this real quick, it is a good way to learn basic compound and even isolation movements. So that's kind of the, uh, the back and forth on that. Um, jumping into a, a pro here, it is varied. It, there's a huge variety of movements. Um, you, I, I've done hundreds of these workouts to a T and it never has felt like I've potentially repeated a workout or anything like that. You are not going to get bored at like exercise wise. He, he will he'll obviously repeat exercises, but between his rep schemes, the tempo that he prescribes, rest times, supersets, giant sets, everything's like, everything like that. Like I said, very bodybuilding focused, but he absolutely mixes it up. You're not going to get bored when it comes to the movements themselves. So I will say that a huge variety there. Um, and that's a, that's an absolute, uh, that's, that's kind of what's kept me into it for, like I said, 18 to 20 months now. Um, you know, whenever I pull up the app or go to the next workout, it's like brand new and something that I probably would have done on my own. So in that sense, I think that's, that's fantastic and important to keep people consistent with their workouts, consistent with the program and to, and to keep getting better. So, um, jumping over here to the cons, the next one, little progressive overload. And I mentioned this kind of at the beginning about it not being a, uh, not being a strength or powerlifting program. There is very little progressive overload. <laughs> um, 
A lot of what we do, what he does, is in the 8 plus rep range, which is not super conducive for strength. Um, obviously, if you're a complete beginner, um, you're going to experience some of the noob gains that everybody talks about. Um, you know, just lifting weights and getting better and overloading the muscles, so increasing weight as you go. That's obviously going to increase your strength. But if you're an intermediate to experienced lifter, this is not going to be super um, ideal for, for strength and power and explosiveness gains. So do keep that in mind. A lot of what he does, like I said, is like eight plus rep ranges. It's tempo, so you're not getting the most bang for your buck with some of the movements, especially something like squat or deadlift, which is very taxing on the nervous system. Um, so keep that in mind. The progress There is some. He has kind of blocks where he'll go down to like six in the four rep range. Uh, those are kind of few and far between. Um, so keep that in mind. I'm not saying you won't get stronger. I'm not saying you'll get weaker. I'm just saying it's not ideal for strength specifically. There isn't a ton of progressive overload. It's very hypertrophy, um, mind-muscle connection, tearing down the muscle fiber focused. Um, and then I kind of meant to tie this back in with varied, but it is definitely unique. Um, <laughs> I have, you can go on bodybuilding.com or on the internet and get any, you know, five exercise, four sets each program that you want for bodybuilding. But this is going to be between the types of exercise he's pres exercises he prescribes, the tempos, the sets, the reps, um, the giant sets, compound sets, and all that, you, you're, I will say that you will have not done a program that is like that, that is exactly, um, or, or that mixes it up like he does, essentially. Um, it is very unique. It stands by itself in the world of uh, bodybuilding workouts. I will say that. Um, I've, we've Travis and I both have tried several, and this definitely stands out in that sense. I don't need to harp on that too long, um, but between its uniqueness and variations and movements, it, it does stand on its own. So that's that's a absolutely a, a point for Julian there. <laughs> um, so another con, it is not basic gym friendly. So if you're a guy who works out in his garage and just has a power rack, a bench, and a barbell, you're going to be very limited to the movements that he uh, that he prescribes. Um, he does a lot of machine work, cable work, does a lot of compound and giant sets that you would have to go to different machines or different racks or barbells for. And under that is kind of, uh, parenthetically, I put crowded gym. It's not crowded gym conducive. So if you're a guy who goes to the gym after work at 5 and you get that like 5.30 huge gym rush, this is not going to be super ideal for that because like I mentioned some of the compound sets and giant sets that he prescribes you're going to need two cable systems and a leg press or something you know uh, and that's just not that easy to get into I'm not saying don't buy the program if your gym's crowded uh, I'm just saying that is something that you may want to take into account so if you have a really simple gym or a really basic uh, gym like bones um, may not be ideal uh, so <clears throat> just keep that in mind always you can work around it if you you can absolutely do the program and replace some of the exercises with something that you do have to the best of your ability. That's always an option, um, but do keep that in mind. Um, okay, and then jumping back over. So uh, this is very important to me and a lot of people when they're going into a bodybuilding style program or even just switching programs in general. Uh, it is a low injury risk. Our dogs are going off over there. Um, it is a low injury risk um, program. So like I said, a lot of what he does is very slow, high rep, not taxing um, workouts wise, workout wise. So kind of under that, I put low central nervous system tax. So a lot of them, you're not going to be absolutely torched like you would be on an athletic plyometric strength explosiveness workout program. So, um, yeah, if, if keeping the integrity of your muscles and not taxing the joints and the nervous system is something that's important to you, this could be absolutely wonderful for you. Um, I used to, I used to have like, not, you know, I had tendonitis. I was battling tendonitis for, probably three years straight, like right, you know, on, right on the uh, point of the elbow there, right on the inside, drop my marker, <laughs> right on the inside, on the outside, and even on the point sometimes. And, and it was killing me, but through some of his arm workouts and like tricep focused things, it kind of pulled me out of the, uh, pulled, me, pulled me out of that hole, so to speak. So, um, I was definitely, come on, Benny, quit chewing on stuff, man. Yeah, I definitely felt uh, better in that sense. It felt like almost most of the, 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 uh, heavier loads even were on the muscle itself. I felt like my joints had better uh, integrity. It felt like, you know, I, I just didn't have those like aches and pains that you can get on strength blocks and things like that. So if you're a strength focused guy and you want to take, you know, a few weeks or a couple months to, to get into more of a, uh, a bodybuilding style program, this could be absolutely wonderful for preserving your joints, preserving your, your nervous system a little bit, taking a break from absolutely just beating down your body so bad over time. Um, I think it's absolutely wonderful for that. 
so keep that in mind. That's that's another uh, absolute pro for especially Travis and I who've had our fair share of, of little injuries and things like that. So um, yeah, that's that's another huge pro for me. Uh, and then volume imbalance. And take this one with a little bit of a grain of salt as well because there's always gonna be volume imbalance when it comes to a program. You're gonna feel like, well, first of all, with any program or anything that you're doing, people are always more fixated and more focused on their, on their weak points. So, I mean, anytime you have a program, it's like, man, I feel like I'm hitting legs all the time, you know, when you're worried about your arms or your chest or something like that. So it does feel like with this program, sometimes it is skewed in a direction, skewed, especially towards legs. Like I feel like sometimes I've gone through four day periods where he'll upload his workouts and I've done legs twice, active rest day once, and an upper body day once. So in a four day period, I've done two leg workouts, active rest, and then one upper body workout. And sometimes that just feels a little, um, you know, there's like an imbalance there. It's leg focused and I love training legs obviously, but um, that's something that does pop out a little bit to me. Um, so just, just keep that in mind. But again, you know, take that with a grain of salt. You can always work around that. He uploads his, he, another thing, he uploads his workouts like four, he uploads like four at a time. So you don't have to go one day after the next. You can always mix it up, kind of adjust it to your own split. That's what I'll do. I'll draw from his chest and shoulder day and, you know, do chest and shoulders and then a little bit of back or something like that. So you can kind of adjust it in that sense to fit your schedule, fit your split, what you're more focused on. Um, but that is something to take into account. It feels like when it comes to total reps, total exercises and sets, it can be skewed one way or the other sometimes. But like I said, that's hard to avoid. Travis and I programmed before. It's hard to avoid. You know, you'll, it's hindsight's always 20, 20. When you program something to look back on and you're like, man, that was very leg driven or something like that. So that's, that's somewhat unavoidable, but it is something that I've noticed enough to mention it. Um, so those are the main points. I mean, I'm, I will, I'm just going to say I enjoy this program. I mean, I tried to kind of keep it objective, keep it relatively even on the pros and cons. Um, the pros seem to outweigh the cons in this situation for me. I feel healthy on it. I feel, I, I notice muscle maturity, muscle growth, and just tearing down the muscles and, and the mind muscle connection in the last two years has just gotten so much better for me off this program. I'm not saying go buy it. <laughs> Julian did not ask me to make this video, um, but I'm just saying uh, I have found a good amount of success with it, um, especially when it comes to you know straight bodybuilding. So um, that's the biggest takeaway is if you're looking for a, a unique, you know, varied bodybuilding program that you can do, um, this would be a good one to start at. So keep that in mind. That is the daily pump program review for you guys. And like I said, feel free to send anything our way if you want us to review it or talk about it. Thanks.